So I'm listening to Dr. Berg. He's one of my favorite nutrition and dietary gurus. Um, and I'm working on vegan breastfeeding mom. Um, it's a gorgeous day in the studio. Check this out. I love this house so much. It's an old Victorian house and it used to be a music school. So for the winter, we brought our plants in. We're definitely a plant loving house. And I love this plant so much in front of the window. It's about 9.30 a.m., sun's coming up. Still, I mean, it's already up, but we've got plants over here. So this is my little awesome studio area. And check it out, we actually have an awesome working fireplace, so I think we might have a fire next week. And there's a grand piano in here. Got some artwork up here. So this is where I paint. Um, it's a pretty quiet house. Got my palette here, working on skin tones today, so. Oh, this is gonna be a very gorgeous piece. Look at that. <laughs> working into the hair right now and laying in skin tones. So what I do is I lay in all the colors kind of separately, and then um, I'll go in later with like a Kalinsky sable brush and smooth it out. And I don't really paint traditionally. As you can see, I just kind of lay the colors on there and smooth out later. So I paint in some ways traditional, like I do put line work in there and build up shadows. Got the space heater going on because it gets a little bit cold. Oh yeah, here, let me, let me um, demonstrate this awesome upside down contraption for you. Wearing my ridiculous pajamas because it gets so cold in here. <laughs> Check this out. All right, so sometimes like right when I'm painting, I will, or in the middle of painting, just to like stretch out and actually bring this thing out and go upside down for a little bit. So. Gives me a different perspective. The reason I'm a sucker for perfection is because I like to push myself the whole way. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to half-ass things, you know? I mean, can you imagine being 86 years old, looking back at your life and thinking I half-assed it? No, I can't deal with it. So, I mean, I try to go in all the way with something, within a relationship or with traveling or being in New York or going into fitness or, you know, and I really developed this ethic over time, and especially in the past three years. I will 
say that balancing two passions can actually be a little bit of a tricky game, but if it's important to you, you'll make the time. So um, today I got in four hours of painting already and now I'm actually going to do laundry, got in a really quick workout, and um, after laundry I'm gonna be focused, and during laundry as well, I'm gonna be focused on the Lotus Jewel Method weight loss program that I'm devising. So thanks for joining me in on this day. Oh,